In this tutorial, we're going to have a look on the drawing tool and the sketch mode. Let's start a 2D sketch as we learned before. And here we have in the sketch menu, we have the line, we already used the line. We have the circle, or rectangle, spline, equation curve, ellipse, and so on. And if you choose one of the tools, you will notice that a window will be open showing you how to use this tool. For example, the circle. And if we press on this small arrow, we have two type of circle and the tangent circle. And if we just keeping the cursor on, on it, we see the help window showing how to use this command so let's choose a circle and i will draw a circle in origin as you notice here the the center point of the circle is marked with dark line that means the center is defined and let's draw an arc let's choose and let's connect this arc with the circle with the line and you can notice while drawing these small relation are appearing so here that means this line will be tangent with the circle so let's define some dimension by click on dimension and choose the circle and let's type 10 millimeter and for this circle let's choose 40 millimeter as you notice the circle color turned to dark blue that means the circle dimension is defined its center and its time its diameter and now let's continue defining the sketch and uh, Let's choose some dimension to this line. Let's type 30. And for this one, 24. And here you can notice in the constraint menu, you have many constraints. So let's make this line to be tangent with this arc. Let's choose the tangent. Choose this line and this arc. And now we have a tangent relation between the arc and the circle. Apply the tangent relation between this circle or this arc and this tangent. And as you notice now, the whole sketch turned into dark blue color, which means that the sketch is fully constrained, as you notice here. And now let's choose another tool. A trim and just move what we want to trim so now we trim this part so let's move to the 3d model extrude and let's make the extrusion to be 20 millimeter so now we have more accurate 3d model